Yo, 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 check this out. Got this delicious cabin here. How did I get this cabin? Where did I find it? Who did I pay to make this cabin? Those are great questions. And to those questions are answers that I have here in this book. In this book, my diary of uh, all my greatest fears uh, and uh, the journey that we, I mean, not no fears, just strengths. And um, in that book, I have essentially the journey that we're going to take together on how I got here. Let's begin here. I was crying myself to sleep at night. No, let's skip that part. Um, I made enemies where I had friends before. Nope. And uh, more enemies, more friends, crying, more crying, fears. Ah, here we go. Where we last left off, I was plummeting to my death. <laughs> Fool you. Oh, I'm frozen. Wait, my boots. I'm not wearing them. I'm dying. Let's go. Ah, no. Frozen. Not like the movie. Oh. Oh, I put the boots on. I didn't think you had to. Oh, look at that light as a rabbit. That That's me. If you ever. Gee. It's like a block of ice almost took me out. with a sacrifice pillar below mountain it's calling me all right all right this is it this is it this is this is it this is calling it this is calling me this this is this is it Ah, yes, wrong. So, uh, is not it. Uh, this is Manit, your devilishly handsome host here, just kind of going over this with you. Uh, we're going to kind of speed up the process here, um, kind of go into quick motion, possibly skip some pieces, do you all a favor, watch. And um, possibly, I don't know, put in some sort of rustic music? We're looking for a cabin, right? Nah, there we are. So let me just go ahead and paint this picture for you while we sit cozy by the fire. Uh, there's this massive mountain I found. So I went to go scope up all around it uh, and saw these large vistas, but I wanted to make sure that there was no other mountains that I could build on. Maybe something that was better than the one I was on. You never know, right? I ended up coming across this village, and uh, in the village, there wasn't really much inside of it. You know, of course, had to get some hay, had to ring the bell. You know how it goes. But in the village, there was just a uh, single villager and his son, so I left. But I ended up finding this nice range though, mountain range that I really thought about building a cabin on and just kind of building around it. But you know, it just wasn't cutting it. I wanted those jagged peaks. So I continued searching my quest for the perfect mountain range and um, ended up just finding another mountain and finding another one. There's some lava coming out of one side of one. But then often in the distance, I think I saw what I wanted to call home. might be home. This might be it. This valley here, got mountains there, mountains, more mountains, and more mountains, and mountain behind us. We can settle in here. This is it. This is, this is it. This, this is it. Hey, wake up, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> what? I wasn't sleeping. You were sleeping. I was trying to tell you my, my epic tale from my personal diary and you were sleepy. <laughs> Anyways, where we last left off, our adventurer began building his cabin on the mountainside. Finally, we get to go to the good part. Get to build up our cabin. My first goal was to uh, empty out the inventory, set up some uh, 
chest with uh, some of the things that we've collected on our trip and then start uh, clearing out the land so we can get our uh, our foundation for the cabin going and get some small temporary farms set up. Uh, had some berries that we had picked up earlier. So I was just gonna use those just to kind of for uh, some filler food, uh, just to keep myself actively going. And uh, I was shortly interrupted while I was trying to get some materials. Oh, so getting, getting ambushed. Right. Run, little creature. Save yourself. The demons from the deep are attacking. Choke. Ah, that's right. That's what I thought. Can you believe it? We had a snake oil salesman also show up at our door with uh, some hot garbage. Um, so we kindly sent him on his way and his uh, llamas that he had with them. Uh, they took off into the forest, never to be seen again. But we also ended up finding uh, some nice uh, friendly cows in the area that we kindly invited into our uh, great enterprise, set them up with a uh, five-star class uh, hotel area. Then I went to go feed my new bovine friends the finest wheat that money could afford. <laughs> then I went and set up some temporary farms just to feed myself, some tato, some sugar cane, some wheat to feed my fine bovine friends. And then uh, also some pumpkins so I could start collecting that for trading. Then also uh, during this time, I went out and collected a little bit of iron um, so I could build up for some tools and for some new sweet. Let's pants it up. P pants, pants it up. What you, yeah, exactly. Suit it up. Whew, it's official. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to need me a noggin protector. I mean, there's only so much brains. <laughs> Golly. So much brains. I better put this on. Better protect this, this noggin. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got so much in my brain right now. It's just dripping out my ears. <laughs> All right, back to building. So I ended up uh, just constructing a, a slab here, just so I could. Uh, uh, I wanted to have this cabin raised up a little bit uh, on the from the ground. So I had some cobblestone just to kind of raise it up as a temporary block. Um, but I also needed some uh, sand for some glass. So I kind of left the area looking for some uh, spots for sand. I was having a hard time finding it. Ended up coming across a village, found some hay, found some bells. And um, they really, the first village actually found two villages. The first village didn't really offer too much of anything. Uh, second village was actually a pretty good sized village. Um, uh, in between them though, I did find some groups of sand. So I was able to grab some of that. Uh, which was uh, nice, but I do need to um, kind of go out a little bit further um, and find some others. And um, so here is the second village that I ended up finding. And I uh, just wanted to see what some of the trades were. Did end up finding my first diamond. Uh, did take it. I was not uh, against finding a free diamond. Rung some bells. Uh, let everybody know I was in town. Uh, but I will be uh, going back to the diamond. I will be uh, mining my first diamond. Um, I will probably save that one that I have if I can actually find it. Hopefully I didn't lose it. And on the way back from our sand excursion, there was a uh, nice little welcome party that was uh, waiting for me. Alright, shoot, shoot you, Captain. Oh, there'll be demotions later. Oh, <laughs> oh. Check. That's two down. And I got the banner. <laughs> you see that? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see what I did there? Yeah. Bam! That's what I did. What you think? You impressed? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Nobody's impressed. We'll say it's a victory to. Where'd you come from? Where on earth did you come from? Oh. 
Oh, gets him every time. All right, so enough with the hostiles. Let's get to building. So for the cabin, uh, came up with the design. I wanted it to be broken down into two pieces, large piece in the back, a uh, small kind of like a cozy, welcoming entrance in the front. With uh, in the back, I wanted the big, nice fireplace in there. Um, for the design layout of it, I uh, designed it on a creative map and um, was trying to bring it into um, this survivor map and was just struggling with the dimensions of it. I don't know what was going on with my brain, uh, but uh, just like a key thing, if you're doing these type of things, if you got a building that you kind of want to build up, just please, please, please do it in creative, get it marked out, uh, get yourself mapped out with what you need and then just implement that into your um, your survival. That's gonna save you so much time doing that type of thing. So once I actually did get a majority of the building outline design put in place, I really liked the way the front, uh, the way that front cozy area ended up coming out. Um, and then I also had to cut down a bunch of trees to kind of get all the woods. But um, as I was planting trees, ended up finding me some new friends as well. Okay, that's interesting. Is it stuck in there? I ended up getting close to finishing off uh, the structure. I don't know what I was thinking as I was building it up. I knew in my head it just didn't look right. I tried to think of a way to make it work, but there was just no way. It was had to start from scratch. So I kind of ended up coming with a new roof design, where I was going to split it into a four-way gable design with some windows so I could see out of every side of it. That wasn't working. I came up with another design, this barn top. That wasn't working. With all these failed roof designs, I soon um, let Rage take control. There's one. Where's the others? Spot it. Ow. Ow. Chow. Ha. So how, how's how's my makeup? Is my makeup is it, it's good? It's good? It's good? All right, we're rolling in three, two, one. We're coming at you live here in front of Hannah's house over at Lookout Point. Let's see how it looks, folks. Let's see how it looks. Turn around for that beautiful, majestic view of that cabin. Mm, boy, howdy. Doesn't that look fine? Doesn't it look great? It looks super fantastic. That's what I think. And, and cut. All right, we're done. We're done filming. Let's get out of here. This place is a dump. After several designs later, finally came up with a design I liked. There was something missing to it. Um, couldn't quite figure it out, but um, I, I still like the overall design. Chow, yow, this cabin out. Scope it out. Take it all in. And it's glorious, glorious view. Yes, sir. Got us a fancy cabin. Not too bad, not too bad. So in this cabin here, finally got the uh, final set uh, of uh, roof design here and uh, ended up adding a nice little stone outline on there to kind of break up um, all of the uh, wood that was going on on the outside of this build. Um, again, just wanted to keep that rustic look going with all the wood, but uh, it could be a little too much sometimes. So um, got the stone going on on the outside. On the bottom there, where that cobble is right above my head, that's just temporary blocks. Those will be changed over time uh, to the uh, other probably stone format, maybe the bricks or something like that. But anyways, let's go get ourselves a closer look. Here we go. Toss, stuck the landing. Oop, almost fell off a cliff. So as we get closer up, we can see our two victory flags that we got out front. We can take a look at these little baby spruce trees that we have on the outside. Uh, don't worry about those cows in there. They're fine. And then uh, let's, let's see, somebody already let themselves in. Oh, you can see here, 
all the amenities that any sort of crafter will want. We have our crafting table, tons of storage over here. We got the uh, stone cutter, the uh, little mini microwave oven on here. And then we have our kitchen. Our kitchen is on back order. Uh, we'll get back to this later. So then we have our fireplace that runs up along the inside of this thing. Oh, more storage inside here. We can always add more uh, space into there. And then as we go up into the loft area, I'll be uh, updating the flooring here to kind of break up this continuous pattern. I got our, our bed, little baby window to kind of look outside. And then the that cabin, or that cabin, that mountain. Oh, that glorious mountain. Hmm. You can see it from anywhere. And that was the point of this, is that I wanted to be able to see it anywhere in this room that I was working. I got these dirt blocks that are in a particular pattern that we will work on next time. But I wanted to be able to see this um, mountain here. Let's go ahead and take ourselves an outside look. We're going to be adjusting this here, doing a nice little... Uh, uh, camp area and then on the back here we have ourselves an actual finished back uh, uh, for the building for the ground here we'll go ahead and terraform that and fix that up so that about does it here for this uh this week's episode i appreciate you all uh, scoping it out i see you but uh, i really appreciate you all uh checking this out with me as i'm looking forward to uh, working on this world some more and build up even more buildings crazier more uh, zanier and uh, more building your buildings that are here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, continue watching me bring this whole valley to life here. Because if you don't, I'll find you. Toodles. Bye. Bye. Out. Out. Oh, man.